Well, I guess this is it. According to the title of this video, this will be T-Moss Boss's last response to his critics. So I guess it's time for me to deliver one final rebuttal. Let's get started. Okay, what's up guys? Now, I feel like, you know, talking to these guys and talking about these guys, it's getting to a point where I'm like, look, I can't take it no more. So it's just, look, whatever you have to say about me, my videos, about what I do, what I call you guys, all of that, keep it to yourself, okay? Just keep it to yourself. Wow, that's the most solid argument I've ever heard. Guess I'd better stop talking now. Goodbye. Just kidding, we're still going through with this. It just gets annoying hearing these guys complain about the videos that I'm uploading on my channel, okay? Well, this is my channel, so I have just as much a right to upload what I want to as you. If not more, because my videos aren't violating copyright. It just gets so retarded and stupid how mad they get over the videos that I'm making. And it gets annoying how you complain about the videos that just a robot makes, but you're still allowed to do it. And it's like, I've given you probably the best solution for you to do, okay? The best solution for you guys, there shouldn't even be no argument behind it. This is the best solution for you guys. Do not watch my videos. Hey guys, I hope you don't mind, but I'm just going to steal this candy bar. Oh, you do mind? Well then don't watch me do it. But don't get mad at the fact that I'm just going to do what I want to do because I'm entertained by what I'm doing. My fans are entertained by what I'm doing and there's no problem between us, okay? And my fans are entertained by me debunking you. So by your own admission, there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing here. And then it's just all like saying that I'm never going to amount to anything. And, and it's all like, look, look at your position versus my position. More views. Yes, my videos have been getting more views. Thanks for noticing. More subscribers. More of everything, okay? But in all seriousness, the fact you have more subs means nothing if they're not active. Most of your videos don't even reach a thousand views. And considering you have almost 10,000 subs, that's pretty bad. That's why I call you guys haters, alright? You hate the fact that I'm doing very successful for what I'm doing on YouTube, okay? No, I hate the fact that you steal content. Not even the fact that you make reaction videos, but the fact that you steal content. Reaction videos don't have to violate copyright. All you have to do is edit out parts of the video where you're not reacting. That's all it would take, and I wouldn't have any more issues. You're fine with pausing the video, so I don't see why you're so against editing out parts of it so you're not stealing. Yeah, you guys might go and like, do more than I'm doing and things, but I'm entertaining a crowd. It doesn't matter what you do to entertain a crowd, as long as you're entertaining a crowd, that's all that matters. That's all that matters, okay? Like I said before, I'm entertaining a crowd by responding to reactionists and SJWs, so what's the problem? I might not entertain everybody, but hey, you can leave, stop watching me trying to entertain you, and move on to somebody that is actually going to entertain you, okay? But don't try to force me into doing something that I don't want to do. I can't force you to do anything, but I can explain to you why you should start editing your videos down for your own sake. There's a difference between must and should. Because... Because you don't like, you don't like it. That's not my problem. That you like stuff and that you don't like stuff, okay? That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to not like things. But sitting there and continuously watching it and continuously coming back to it, yeah, you give a pe you give people a reason to call you a hater. Obviously, you're not going to please everyone, but that doesn't mean you should brush off every negative thing someone points out as them simply being a hater. When I started my channel, Zishan Ahmed advised that I speak more clearly. In his 50th video, Just a Robot gave me a shout out and suggested that I try to talk faster. And I've been making an effort to do both of those ever since. If they hadn't pointed those things out to me, I might not have known there was an issue and thus I would have never improved. Alright, but no, I, I just wanted to say that, but I wrote down a few things 
because I was like, yeah, these these were some very good points and stuff. I honestly doubt it. And I was just like, you know, it needed to be said. So uh, the first one, the first one that I wrote down that uh, one of the guys has said that, you know, because he made some video about me today. I watched like maybe 10 seconds of it because I'm like, it's just it's so cringing watching these videos. They're using like some Siri animation voice or whatever and things to just to be their voice. At least see Sean Ahmed brought up decent points in this video. Your arguments are so bad that you literally bring up points that were already debunked in previous videos. And that's way more cringy than Zeeshawn using a text-to-speech program. He goes on to say that my fans don't help, alright? They're helping me by giving me constructive criticism and stuff. My fans, the fans that are saying how much they love my videos. The fans that are saying how much I motivated them to do videos themselves. Granted, there's nothing wrong with that in and of itself. I appreciate all the positive support I receive on this channel, but you should still be open to people who have suggestions so that you can improve your craft. The fans that continuously come back find nothing negative with um, with my videos and always finding something positive to say and if there is something negative, they keep it to themselves and then they move on. Wow. For your own sake, I sincerely hope you never go to space. Let's see, he's managed to puncture a spacesuit, and he's about to breathe in moon dust, which is like breathing in millions of knives at once, but I'd better not tell him that, otherwise I might hurt his feelings. Because they know it's not going to be something that they, um, that's always going to last, see? That doesn't make any sense. If no one's told you that there's a problem with one of your videos, then how's it not going to last? You've made plenty of reaction videos, but you never learned to start editing out the parts where you're not reacting. If they're going to, you know, be giving me constructive criticism, they're not going to be all rude and mean about it. They're going to be nice about it, okay? Well, that is part of being constructive, but you literally said that people shouldn't find anything wrong with your videos. And constructive criticism is about weighing the good with the bad. If you never address the problem with something, it can't improve. The fans that actually care about my well-being, they actually care about what I'm doing, don't have a problem with what I'm doing. Though the ones they don't care, they don't, they're they're not helping me, okay? The ones they're um sending hate and negativity to my channel, they're helping me. Oh yes, you guys are helping me so much. I would like to just thank you all for just helping me so much. Yeah, I, I love I love seeing the dislikes and all of that. That's that's so so helpful. Thank you guys so much. I, I appreciate it. You know, it's without you guys, it's like and then the core fans that have always been there for me, with but without without you guys that are giving me constructive criticism and helping me out and things. I, I, I thank you guys. You guys are the best in things. Well, if you actually considered what people were saying and tried to improve, then it would help you. I wrote this down as another thing. I'll try to hurry up and catch myself before I uh, uh, read on to it and stuff. But I, I probably will. But anyways, um, right. yeah, they target YouTubers like me that do reaction videos and stuff. And the only reason why they do that is because they're fans of YouTubers that, you know, disregard and disrespect YouTubers that are reactors and stuff, okay? For an example, Great A under A, I hate everything. Well, that's a straw man if I ever heard one. I don't disparage reaction videos just because people like I hate everything, Great A under A, and just a robot told me to. I have a basic understanding of how copyright works, and I understand reaction videos to be breaking those laws. You can say I'm blindly following people all you want, but that won't change the fact that you're violating copyright. Now, I'm not saying that they're bad YouTubers. They're great YouTubers, okay? They both got over a million subscribers, I believe. So, uh, yeah, they're doing good for themselves. But the fans of those YouTubers become, you know, they're like my fans and stuff. Get motivated, make videos, and then they target YouTubers like me. And how does this relate to you stealing content? Now, I told my co-workers and things what I do at home and stuff, what I was doing beforehand. I told them. Even my manager, my manager, we were sitting there cleaning up after work and he was watching one of my videos. And he had no problem with it. Honestly, if he had a problem with it, he could have told me about it. And But he didn't. He had no problem with what I'm doing. Why? Because he doesn't know how copyright law works. Because he wasn't motivated by YouTubers like Grade A, Under A, and I Hate Everything to just go all bat crazy and things on my videos and stuff. 
Okay, I wouldn't really say I've gone back crazy yet, but alright. I feel like even with them, okay, let's say if I were to make a video that they don't like, okay, I feel like they would be nice about it, okay, than, uh, you know, going all crazy in my comment sections and all over the place, you know. Yeah, YouTube comments have a reputation for being terrible. It doesn't mean that the criticisms towards you aren't valid. They always claim that I'm never, yeah, they never, I'm, not, I'm never going to amount to anything, I'm a bad YouTuber. I have, you know, I don't have that many subs, I don't have that many views. t -Moss Boss, do you think I want to see your channel fail? I honestly don't. I've seen some of the stuff you've made and it's not bad. I saw one of your Rockstar Editor videos and it was alright. And I really liked your video on why black people can be racist. I think you have potential as a YouTuber and I'd like to see you improve. That's why I talk about the problems with your reaction videos, so you can fix them. All I see from that is that they're trying to have me out to be their favorite YouTuber. That's it, okay? And their favorite YouTuber, whoever it is, that's who they want me to be. They want me to be more of that person. No, I just want you to stop stealing content. Either by gaining permission before you react to a video, or editing out parts of it. That's all that's being asked of you. Now I'm like, look, okay, I feel like what people seem to forget and misunderstand is that everybody was not meant to be the same. Everybody was meant to be different. So, why are you doing reaction videos in the same way that a good majority of reaction channels do? If you edit out parts of the video, that would actually make you more different. This is what I've been telling people for the longest. If you want to see something different, if you want to see, you know, uh, this type of video or something, I don't know, you make it yourself. Okay, your argument is like someone stealing cows from a farmer instead of buying from them and using them to make burgers. And when someone calls them out on it, they respond, Well, if you don't want burgers that are stolen, make them yourself. The majority of these people that are attacking me and stuff, you know, they're, uh, they hide behind, like, these characters. Like, there's, uh, like, they hide behind robots, cartoon anime characters or something. They hide behind somebody. You're not seriously using this argument, are you? And I'm not saying that they don't need to, you know, go ahead, continue doing that. Continue being a character and things. But it's like, if you're going to be a character, why try to change a person's reality? Why try to change a per person that's actually being real towards people and things? <sighs> so if one person makes a video explaining why shoplifting is wrong and they use a cartoon character, and another person makes a video talking about why shoplifting is cool and more people should do it, and they say this on camera, the argument for shoplifting somehow has more validity? You know you're not a robot, you know you're not a cartoon character, okay, you know you're not a computer, okay, be yourself for once in your videos and things. There are a multitude of reasons why a person might not show their face in the video. They might not have a decent camera and would rather use a cartoon image to preserve their production values. They might do it as a stylistic choice, or because it's easier to read words from a script than to memorize everything and say it on camera. And in many cases, it's because YouTubers like myself sometimes have to dive into some rather controversial issues. Let's say I make a video denouncing feminism, and then I later end up working for an employer who disagrees with my views on it and fires me for it. I still have to face consequences for the things I say here, since I could still mess up badly enough to ruin my entire YouTube career. But unless I'm driving someone to suicide or something like that, I don't think I deserve to suffer real-life consequences just for expressing my views on things. In a perfect world, I wouldn't have to worry about something like that just for exercising my freedom of speech, but the fact is there are people who overreact to differing opinions, and I like to have a degree of protection from those individuals. Furthermore, both Zmark Anthony and Megadoop TV have done videos on you, and they've both done face reveals. Megadoop TV might not have shown his face in the video he did on you, but then again, you're not showing your face in this particular video. You got videos like the John F. K., the John F. Kennedy assassination. You have that video showing the man getting shot, okay, in his head. You have that video on YouTube. 
that video. But yet and still, my video is the worst of the worst. And here it is. They have a full-blown murder on YouTube. You're using an appeal to bigger problems fallacy. There are kids starving in Africa, but that's not stopping you from making videos complaining about people saying negative things about you. But what I fail to understand, it's like you see those videos getting taken down all the time. You know, killings, pornography, all of that stuff. You see them type of videos getting taken down all the time, alright? But why haven't videos like mine getting taken down? Okay, it's bad enough that you used a point that I already countered in my last video on you. But this point is contradicted within your own video. You just said that there's a full-blown murder on YouTube that hasn't been taken down, and then proceed to say that videos like that are taken down. Even for a non-scripted video, you should have realized the mistake being made here. But to answer your question, it's for the same reason videos like the Nostalgia Critics are taken down. It's because YouTube's copyright system is broken. Then they try and say that my videos are against um, copy the copyrights, fair use guidelines and all of that and it's like okay if it was if it was and then they trying to say that you know oh it doesn't have to say that all right you're using the full video no no okay we're not talking about that actually we are they trying to say that you know oh it doesn't have to say that uh reaction videos are against the guidelines no in order for something to be against the guidelines it has to be in the guidelines okay Oh boy, how do I explain this? You're right that reaction videos don't inherently violate copyright, but that doesn't mean they can't violate copyright. For example, let's say you're throwing a party. There's certainly nothing illegal about that. But if the party gets too loud, eventually the neighbors will end up calling the police on you for disturbing the peace. Now throwing a party might not be against the law, but disturbing the peace is. Just like how a reaction video alone doesn't automatically constitute copyright infringement, but showing the entire video does. That's pretty much as clear as I can make it. And I feel like what they're forgetting is that there's channels that has millions of subscribers because of them uploading reaction videos. The React channel, okay? How come they haven't been taken down yet, alright? And But it's just like reaction videos are against the law and things, or you know, they can go to prison behind that. How come the Fine Brothers, how come they haven't went um, to prison behind it, you know? Well for one, copyright infringement is a white collar crime, so you can't go to prison for it, but you can be sued for it. And the reason why no one sues reaction channels is because they steal from a variety of people instead of just one. So the amount that's stolen from an individual isn't enough to justify them going to court over it. They do show full videos, okay? They might show clips of the video that they like. Alright, so like, let's say it's their Try Not To Laugh compilations or something. They're showing full videos. And two, because the Fine Brothers actually get permission. If your videos don't fall under fair use, then you need to get permission. Tyro Magnus made it onto the news. He made it onto the news for quitting his job and making his YouTube channel, his reaction videos, into a full-time job. But yet and still, yet and still, it's going up against the guidelines, right? I'm pretty sure somebody from YouTube had to see that episode of the news where they were talking about Tyro Magnus. They had to. That doesn't mean they cared. YouTube only cares about their bottom line at the end of the day. They don't care if the ad revenue is going to Grade A Underry or Tyro Magnus as long as they're getting their cut. And that's pretty much it. From this point on, he simply repeats himself. Sorry this took so long. I've been busy with school and crap. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.